Welcome to the Lonely Pod. I'm your host, Lee Garrard. I love this voice. If I was a man, I would have big balls. This is an unhinged episode of the Lonely Pod. That's right, an unhinged episode of the Lonely Pod, where I just let loose and I get fucked up on melatonin just kidding but seriously i've been having trouble sleeping guys so i went ahead and i bought these ollie sleep extra strength and tomorrow i have a meeting i have a meeting my son's school and it's at 10 15 so i have to go to sleep early today guys it's a must yesterday i tried to go to sleep early and i was just tossing and turning and couldn't fucking sleep it was wild anyway do you guys wanna cheers it says the serving size is two gummies let's get through this episode without falling asleep Let's take two gummies. Plus one. Extra strength. Yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, unhinged episode. So I went out with this guy who... I'm so dumb. I don't know why I keep entertaining... You know what? This time was in my benefit. And it was... I was kind of experimenting with myself. Because he was like, hey, beautiful... Hey, gorgeous, let's hang out. Let's do something. And I was like, all right, let's see what we can do. So, of course, he's like, let's go to the bar that I always fucking go to. And I was like, so we went to his fucking bar that he always went to. We were hanging out. First of all, he had me waiting there for a, for a good while. And it was already late, dude. Like, I shouldn't have even fucking been out there. But I was like, I need to... I need to test this and see for myself how stupid I am. Which... Pretty stupid. So, I'm there waiting for him. I have myself a drink. And he go. he's like, can you get me a drink? And then I'll get the next round. And I was like, nah, like I already got myself a drink waiting for your ass. Anyways, he showed up and we're chilling. And you know what? It was a test because every other time that we hung out, Every time that we hung out before, he would buy me drinks and I would get fucked up, to be honest. And you know what happens when you get fucked up? You wanna. When I get fucked up, I wanna. And I think he knew that. So this time around, I gave myself, I was like, I'm not drinking to get fucked up. I'm drinking to chill. So I only allowed myself two drinks, two little beers, okay? And I was sipping them down slowly. And we're talking and he's like, well, like, we can't, you know, we can't be together. You know, we can't fall in love. And I was like, then why, like, why am I here? Like, I don't think he got it through his stupid head. He was like, we're friends with benefits. And I'm like, I don't want to be friends with benefits. There is no benefit because even after, if we hook up, I go home feeling like, a used fleshlight and that's what my somebody said this they said he's just using you as a human pocket pussy and i was like you're right i'm a pocket pussy yeah so i don't know it kind of like it opened my eyes a lot and you know what the ashwagandha helped me realize how much stress he was putting me in for no goddamn reason so after he said that i was kind of just like i was just like okay bro okay buddy all right homie because he was trying to like hold my hand stare into my beautiful eyes and tell me i was beautiful and stuff and be like i love i love your eyes they look like galaxies they have sparkles, and I love them. And I was just like, thanks. And I don't know what it is about, I guess maybe I did have beard goggles on before because I was looking at his face and I was looking at his little snaggle tooth that he had. It was a little longer than the other teeth, and I was just like, I never noticed that before. Isn't it weird that once you lose feelings for somebody, how unattractive they can be to you? It was like a, yeah, like rose-colored glasses. Because as soon as, because he was like, we are not 
We can't fall in love, baby girl. I can't love you. I could give you all the love that you need, but I can't fall in love with you. I cannot love you. You cannot love me. Even though you're talented, you make badass art, you're beautiful, you're sexy. Shut up. Yeah, I was just like, mm, yeah, I'm done. This is it. This is the last time I'm going to see you. But that's what my heart was telling me. I was like, this is it. This is the last time I'm going to see you, guy. Okay? And uh, we go outside because the bar closes and he's like, he hops into my car and I'm like, did you need a ride? And he's like, well, yeah, I walked here. And I was like, no wonder I was waiting for fucking ever. He's like, yeah, well, can you take me to my house? Which is like right around the corner corner of his fucking favorite bar, of course. So I drive him to his house and he starts, you know, he starts trying to get all lovey-dovey. And I'm just like, no, this is, that's it. He's like, you're gonna be like that? Me? Really? You're gonna be like that? And I'm like, yeah, buddy. Yeah, homie. Yeah, bro. That's it. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be your pocket pussy anymore. Yeah, so sometimes you just gotta say things out loud to yourself. You gotta tell yourself, like, this guy is using you as a fucking living pocket pussy. And that's, that doesn't feel nice. That doesn't feel good when you say it like that. What if I make shirts that say I'm not your pocket pussy <laughs> for girls like us? Girls who finds ourselves being pocket pussies for these low-life motherfuckers. These guys prey on women like us. The lonely girls. Yeah, like, they trick me. They, he tricked me because he's like, yeah, like, I like to vibe and chill and do other, the same things that you do. But I want to fuck at the end of it. And if I don't fuck at the end of it. Then what's the point of hanging out? And I'm like, I just wanted to hang out. Like, I just wanted to chill and vibe and listen to music with you and have a conversation with you. I didn't want to fuck. Sorry, I'm not using you like, like a dildo. dildo. I'm going to make shirts or buttons or stickers. One that says, I will not be your dildo and I will not be your pocket pussy. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I will not be your dildo, and I will not be your pocket pussy anymore, you motherfucker. Yeah, go masturbate by yourself with your tears. Okay, thanks. Go go find another pocket pussy, bitch. But yeah, I completely, I was like, okay, this is... By the way, after I told him no, he was like, okay, can you drive me back to the bar? And I was like, what? He's like, I left my car there. I was like, then why the fuck did I drive you to your house, dude? He's like, well, I thought something else was going to happen. Do you see how they just expect you to know? No more, motherfuckers. But yeah, that's it. That was the, uh, the veil was lifted. You know what? I'm going to admit it. I was dumb and I was lonely. And I did text him again, but he completely opened my eyes to the fact that, I don't know, I thought I could turn him into a real friend, but no. I was like, hey, you want to hang out? And he didn't answer me. So that's when I was like, it was just like a wake up call. Like, Lee, this guy is not your friend. This guy's not going to be your boyfriend. This guy is just a dildo. He wants to be your dildo and he wants you to be. So yeah. I completely blocked him completely on everything and I also deleted all his all the pictures all the messages everything just bye goodbye trash go away out with the old in with the single life you know what it's fine being single is fine I enjoy being able to fart whenever I want I enjoy it and you know what if you want to be a comedian and you want to start touring and stuff you gotta be single. You gotta be a single person. Because from what I've seen, you shouldn't be married if you're... You shouldn't be in a relationship if you're gonna be a whore out on the streets. Okay? So, I'm just not... I'm gonna be like, I'm single because I would like to find some dildos on the road. Some live dildos on the road when I get bigger and I start touring and I start meeting 
other people start meeting guys i want to i want to do the buffet of life and then choose maybe i'll find one really good one that i love to use over and over but also like to hang out with and he also likes to hang out with me. Who knows? That's what I, that's what I'm doing wrong is that I'm not, I was stuck on one dildo. That's it. I'm not trying out the different ones. I'm not giving the other ones a chance because I, I've been locked up in, in this hope that this guy would be, would come around and be like, you know what? You're fucking cool. I like hanging out with you. I like your vibe. I want to be with you for real. I was waiting for that and I was stupid. So I feel so much better now that I've rid it, rid him completely. Scoop that bitch out. Thank you. I was wondering if you guys wanted to do a movie review with me or like a watch along where we're not going to show the movie on the screen here because copyrights or whatever. And I'm just going to play it on the TV while I'm sitting here. It, my TV's right there, and I'm going to watch it, and you guys could just watch my reactions. Or if you want, I'll be like, if you want to watch along, I'm going to get this movie here on this ser streaming service, and then I'll give you some time to find the movie, and we'll press play at the same time, and we'll go through it together, and you could have my reaction, okay? or my, my commentary as we do the movie. So this has been unhinged episode of The Lonely Pad. I don't know, this felt more natural to me. Was it the melatonin? Damn, dude. Well, that melatonin. It's hitting. Just kidding. I am getting a little sleepy though. But Mama has to wake up early. Mama has to wake up early for a meeting. Which I, I hope to God. Well, with everything that's been happening in the world, mostly America, yeah, I decided to remove my child from public school. And I was like, I'm going to put him in homeschooling because I'm fucking terrified, honestly. So hopefully, you guys, please keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm waiting to hear back to see if they accept him and they will register him. And yeah, because the world is scary right now, guys. It's fucking terrible. It's scary. And I just wanted to say there's this thing called K-12. If you're looking to get your kids homeschooled because of the fear or maybe they don't like public school or they're not doing good in public school, maybe it would just be a better option for you guys. I've been hearing really good things about it from people that I know and that's what got me like really seriously considering it and then the fact that you take them away from the possibility of i hate to say it dying yeah it's a it's an option to have so look up k-12 it's sad that we have to think about these things but yeah k-12 sign up it's really it was really easy i did it all online and uh, hopefully i hear back soon from them but uh God, how did how do we get here? This episode has been a fucking roller coaster. I just kind of wanted to be a little bit more myself, I guess. Honestly, the episode I just recorded felt like a fake. I don't know, <laughs> fake as shit. Okay, this one felt more interesting. I don't know. No, but I really do love the movie Dinner in America. I'm gonna watch it right now. Hopefully, I have some good dinner in america dreams and i hope that you guys watch it too that's the movie that i wanted to do a watch along so make sure you have hulu to sit down and watch it it's a really good movie let's watch it together i've watched it like six times in this past week and i'm still gonna watch it again it's on hulu dinner in america Plug it up and we'll watch it together on the next episode. The Lonely Pod. Goodbye, my lovely little owners. I'll see you next time, okay? Have a good whatever.